So, review number deuce. Dose. Dose, if you will. So this is... I forget who this is. James Manning. Also, Booty Mage. Oh, it's the guy in chat. It's you! Alright, so, since he's in chat, we can make fun of him so fucking bad, guys. Like, if he does something stupid, I want chat just to go nuts on him. If we can make him feel terrible, that'd be great, because then I can build him up and I look like a really good guy. But don't tell him I said that. Alright, everyone keeps on telling me Dose is 12. No, it's 2. I don't care if I'm wrong. It's 2. We have crazy music in the background. Hey, we're on defense first. That's cool. Okay, so... Ah, what was it? Tracer. Here we go. It's Booty Mage. Uh, as Tracer on Eichenwald. And he's 1500. Mercy's fine. Just understand, it's okay to res only two. That is okay. What? Don't say it's 12. Or two. I'm gonna say it's two. Okay, see, that's what I thought you said. In fact, in this chat, don't say, or this stream, I should say. Is two. And I don't care if that's right or wrong. Hold on, there's a bug. I'm putting my bug. headphones back in. How'd you get in here? My headphones back All right. in. Hold on, sorry guys. Gotta kill a bug. Oh, sir. You gotta. Oh, there you are. Eat shit, bug. Can't get past me. Okay, alrighty. Pow. Way too greedy. Right? Uh, yeah, sorry, I was stretching. Uh, this is, this, yeah. Okay, everyone complained about this, yellow. Everyone complains about orange over new yellow. This is way too greedy. Uh, we'll see what you can get, but this, this right here, this, and this monkey. Uh, this is playing against, oh, this is quick play, you son of a bitch. I didn't see that. Oh, man, I'll review it this time, but next time, I'm a little upset at myself. I didn't see that. The problem with quick play, for anyone that's just wondering, is that I cannot confirm if any of these people actually give a shit. The one's over there. No, it's not. It's placements. Okay, uh, all right, yeah, 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 people are ranked. Pe this guy's ranked, this guy's ranked. All right, all right, it's ranked. You, you, it was close. It was close, but, all right, all right, we'll, we'll allow it, we'll allow it. So you guys actually didn't do anything, uh, which I'm happy about. You, uh, you just got back. Uh, except for the Winston, the Winston we can see is still over there, but you have no control of your allies, whatever. He also has an easy way out. Hold on, where did this Hanzo come from? Alright. Whatever, we're gonna focus on what, what you're doing. Come on. So these pot shots, I don't mind. These are good pot shots. But you definitely want to be looking at not being on the main path, but taking that little flank there. All right, this, oh, uh, yeah. So already you're standing in the middle ground a lot, like a significant amount. Uh, and being in the middle, like, see, this is like, you're in the middle of combat. Uh, this is all rough Shit. play. Watch out for that trap. There's oh, so man. I can vault. Mm 
Oh, okay, I deserve that. I deserve that. Let's lower the volume a little bit. This junk rat. <sighs> so yeah, already you're just uh, in no man's land a significant amount. Uh, when people ask about no man's land, it's a line, this is a square. You have two teams facing off. There's the Reinhardt, there's a shield, there's Reinhardt, here's a shield. This entire area. Uh, tracers do not fare well in this area. You can maybe like go through it really quick, but you were kind of staying in this area. Both at the first choke point, you were fighting here, and then you dashed through. Then you kind of came back, and then on the at the point itself, you were doing the same thing. Uh, you want to be on the edge. Uh, let me just tracer excels here. She can definitely dive in and get some damage done, but I think you 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 really need to be on on the ball when you're doing that. So this is the position, so you were in the position that I would have said, like, that's where you're going to do great at. But then you went into a position where I, I, it was really rough for you to do. Uh, you essentially gave up the flank to go into the middle. Okay. Honestly, you just keep laying into him. There you go. There you go, just yeah. I mean, if you have the advantage and they're not looking at you, then keep doing what you're doing. That was fine. Okay. Uh, I don't, I, I like this actually. I don't mind it. Uh, you're splitting their forces up. You have the mobility edge, right? So if something really does happen, I mean, you could pulse bomb. Get out of there. I am so dead. Uh, and this is... So when I say get out of there, it's like, alright, so you're, you're skirmishing a bit. You're skirmishing a bit, and they, they left you, so that's cool. Uh, this is one of the parts where I say, as a DPS, your number one skill, the number one thing to do as a DPS, stay alive. Now, if your whole team gets killed, then that's a one, that's like another deal. But if... It's kind of like a little bit of a stagger, and you guys are getting slow pushed back. Then definitely stay alive. Uh, don't be afraid of disengaging for a situation you're probably going to lose in, rather than just try to get some damage off. And you know, and and then die. Get him! Goddamn junk rat! He's in that corner. Okay. There he is. The payload. Focusing the Anna a lot. And you're having a little tough time of hitting her, but that's okay. Um, that's what happens. You'll get, you'll get better in time. Alright, that... Oh, I thought you were going to time it perfectly. Oh. Where is everybody? Oh my god. So... Please stop with the Arisa. Oh my god. Uh oh, we're hearing the salt now. Uh huh. We're hearing the salt. Just because you're dying, man, don't be yelling at your team. Alright, get out. Yep, get out. And a balance, huh? Now, this is going to be a little bit risky because you're doing it without. Oh man. Okay, point. Uh, this should be noted. This should be really, really well noted. Uh. All the classes do, do 120 damage. Plus 60 equals 180. Right? From 50% from Orisa. Uh, Tracer's hit points. 1, 0, 3. Negative 30. Negative 30 is really bad. Um, it's quite low. It's often fatal. 
But yeah, so when you came around here and you, you can see those the cords already, you're like, all right, anyone doing 120 damage is going to kill me in one shot. They have a junk rat. That's one shot. Okay. No, no, the answer was not Bastion. Oh my god. He says the answer was not Bastion, but often when playing with color Bastion, the answer is Bastion. Oh man, look at this salt. Look at this salt. Booty mage! Someone yell at him. Did I just subtract 150 from 180 and get negative 30? You know what, fuck you, alright? Maybe I added them. Again, really? Trip and Ninja, you're out of here. All right, man. Well, thanks. Thanks for sticking around. Oh, you can't spam salt the emote that that much. Ah, uh, now he's yelling about mics. I'll take that as a no. All right, let's let's skip let's skip these forty seconds of salt. So, so far, um, yeah, so far it's been a lot of the, you're sitting in no man's land, you're getting right in there, uh, the picks you're trying to pick aren't coming quick enough, the soldier was right there, he's above you, I think he just jumped over your head. Okay, so this is uh, this is kind of Tracer 101, just and it's Overwatch 101 in general. Whenever there's a choke point, just just get something through the choke point as soon as you can. Uh, pull resources off the choke point. That way, it makes the choke itself weaker. Uh, so even though you have five people or six people, I should say, uh, and probably not all of them are shooting at the choke point. This is the choke point. While all of their six players are probably shooting at the choke point because they're on defense and they have the ease, right? They can all shoot this way. And your guys will be more spread out. You, you won't be grouped up like this because this is dangerous. Uh, and if you take, if you go over here and you take one or two of these guys away, then you just make one person on this a lot easier. Uh, or, or taking away one person is, is significantly easier. Uh, because the, the truth is you probably weren't doing a lot of focus there so this was already like a four most choke points are like a 4v6 just because not everyone can get through the choke point not everyone can shoot who they want uh it's already low numbers as it is so even so if you dash past them it's still going to be a 4v something and, but at least you, you can make it a five or a four uh, i talk about that in my double jump video i go over a bit of i go over the tactics of breaking a choke and what makes it so strong no. That's cool. so getting on the point this is 100% of a way to get them to pull resources back, right? Because they have to. Now you did a ah, timing's overrated. Okay. Ooh, no. So now there's two people behind. I, I saw a second person at the point as well. Come on, don't let this junk rat humiliate you. Come on, the Lucio's there. See already, this is this is great because this helped to get two people off the choke. He reset his trap. That's what happened. All right, now Anna's back. Like this is this is great. Even if you don't kill anyone, just pulling the attention back is what Tracer has to do, or what anyone has to do in these choke points. Should have got that health pack because you're within one shot range. That's why. Um, so this is why I always punch Tracer. She has 150 health. 30, you know, minus 30 damage from melee strikes. She's at 120. That means she dies from Junkrat in one hit no matter what. And as a Tracer, you it's 
really unfortunate to have to recall 30 damage. Like, they don't like doing that. It, did he really go Bastion again? But if you had one, if you had that health pack, you would have lived there. Yeah, we lost the spot. Now, you can wait to set up with your team, but as a tracer, it is possible for you to, um... Uh, just charge right past it and yeah, force people on point. So this is good. I already see two or three people on point. It ate your input. Oh, I feel you, man. I feel you, man. That happens to me on Junkrat. Okay. So, here comes the tough thing. And this is the, a real rough thing to say. Uh, Are you ready? Like, okay, okay. you're pulling people off the point, but your team's not getting in. That means you have to do more. It means pulling people off the choke point alone isn't enough for this team in this setup at this point in time. You need to start getting kills. I'm dead. I am dead as fuck. Good, you stayed alive. Oh. You save them. Careful when, yeah, when, when when soldiers alting. Careful if we don't have your recall. All right, Bastion. Remember the Bastion you're yelling about the entire game. Doing work. There you go. Not nah, okay. Overkill, but because it's such low time, I, drastic times call for crazy things to be done. Oh man, looks like you're, you guys got crushed in this one. Oh, that's such a good match. These are the matches I want you to submit. That was pathetic. It was pathetic. Did you hear him? That was pathetic. That's pathetic on your part. Don't you dare call your team pathetic. <laughs> so, okay, so some MC Sulkins already says he's like, I know you don't like talking about aim, but his aim needs a lot of practice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's the deal. He's 1500. Um... So yeah, but we will actually talk about that. Uh, tracking needs work. I would say try a lower sensitivity. Uh, you flanked a lot, but you didn't get a lot of damage in. And it doesn't matter if... It doesn't matter if you got silver damage. Uh, you just, you have to get kills as Tracer. DPS is on me. How are they not? How are we not pushing? Look at more examples where you're shooting. What? Oh. Yeah, I mean you're you're having a tough time on a lot of these. Like, it's cool that you get past everyone. This is fine, but you have to follow it up with something. Uh, with something threatening, I should say. No, thank you. Oh, shit. And so, uh, one other thing about pushing past the point, if your team isn't like, okay, so you got two people here. That's great. 
But if your team still isn't getting through the choke point, maybe you will have to go back and shoot the tank in the back. For him to turn around, that gives your team a better advantage as well. Push. Push. Ow. Yeah, and a lot of the times on offense when you're tracking down Ana, like here's where you do a little bit of work. That clip wasn't... Uh, you had one good clip in there. Here's the... that This is super dangerous. What's funny is going to be this part. Oh. Not that. Where is everybody? Where is everybody? Your entire team got killed. They just respawned. Uh, That's what I was thinking was funny. So yeah, definitely. Um, I would say lower sensitivity. Man, yellow looks bad too. All right, we'll do. Uh, it looked like a lot of these guys you were overshooting at first. Like if the target was here, you were your first response would be like way over here, and you'd start shooting there, and then you'd start correcting. And by the time you started to correct, uh, Tracer's clip was pretty much done. Like you'd get half a clip in most people at max, even if you had one hundred percent accuracy. Uh, just because your first motion was very wide off. Um. Yeah. Your action. I think your your ability usage was fine. Yeah, I, your your ability usage was great. Your aim isn't usually this bad. I don't know what happened to me. It's all right. It happens. More people are complaining about my writing. But yeah, so um, lower your sensitivity, your accuracy. It is getting to the... I hate being this. I never correct people on accuracy, so I feel when I do, I'm just being a complete dick. Uh, but yeah, your accuracy, is, your accuracy is a little bit of an issue. At least in this game. You said you were doing really bad this game, so, you know... Uh, focus on that. Uh, lower sensitivity, other things you can do to practice sense or accuracy. Uh, accuracy drills are really tough. I know there's a huge thing about Ana bots, yada, 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 but the truth is you just need hours in play. Why can I aim so well with Junkrat and other heroes, even with high, high sensitivity like I do? Uh, I've been doing this for 20 years. Uh, I just simply, the mass amount of time advantage I have over everyone is... Pretty much my, I'm, I'm old, I, what I am, I call myself old skill. And what that means is I probably won't fix whatever issues I have because I've been ingrained in my habits for 20 years. You, are, you, you, your new skill. See, when you're older, you depend more on position, logistics, and action, or m information. New skill, all they care about is accuracy. Fucking kids. Their shiny mouses and their loud music. Uh, yeah. This is just this is one of my issues. This is something I, I, I understand about myself and I try to fix, but at the same time, I'm like, fuck it, I'm good enough. I don't care. <laughs> like, yeah, old skill like old money. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah. Uh, your positioning was... Uh, I'm, I liked your positioning on offense. You had actually good positioning. It was good positioning on offense. Check on offense. Uh, on defense, again, you were in no man's land a lot. So when there's a, a team here and a team here, you were charging in through this way, and you're getting uh, some damage. Uh, you're, you're taking some damage. You're getting shot by a couple things that were like, it could have been an accident, right? Junkrat could have been shooting at the guy way back here, and you just so happened to be here. 
Uh, to minimize that, you need to be on a little bit of the outside edge of combat. Or, or I should say, not combat, just between the teams. Don't be between the two teams, be on the edge of them. Uh, Tracer can zip in and zip out, but it's very dangerous for, the, for her to do that. Enra, thank you so much for your 500 bits. It's a very generous donation, thank you. Uh, I correct, I, um, Booty Mage, there is a review for Xeno. It's one of the first reviews I do. He plays Tracer at like 2300. And I go over, I forget exactly what I go over, but I go over a lot in detail because it was back when I had like 10 viewers and, you know, I had the time. Uh, we went over his tracer, and he had this exact same issue. I, I would say it's almost the an identical. Was it my first? I don't know if it's my first review. I think it was like my second one. I think it was my first review, but I posted it on YouTube second. Uh, but yeah, it's it's one of my first reviews out there, and he has the exact same issue of being in no man's land. And I will tell you, he told me. Uh, after he fixed that issue, it was like a 500 SR gain. It's actually my lowest reviewed, uh, video. Uh, it's probably contains some of my best, my best information. <laughs> uh, it's just about being on the outside of combat and, and where not to be as Tracer. Uh, logistics. Uh, I, I liked, and this is kind of like your plan. Again, it would follow your offensive defense thing where I liked your plan and how you moved at offense, but I did not like it on defense. Uh, I I agree with you pulling people off the point, and you pulled two to three people off the choke point, which is amazing for a single tracer to do. Uh, you stayed alive. You 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 did what you needed to do. Obviously, it would have been better if you had a kill, but like, who cares at that point? Pulling three people off the choke is worth. Honestly, it's worth three kills. It's worth you know pulling those three people off. Uh, it would just been icing on the cake. Uh, but on defense, you were the one time you did position yourself really back, really far back, and you got the erase and the on a kill, and that was good. Uh, but sometimes you were staying too far in the back, and you were just not putting time into combat. Uh, remember, flanking takes time. Whenever you flank, right? This this is just simply it's just a shorter line, right? Uh, flanking takes time, so flank it's good, but don't flank too much. Uh, that means you're not, you're not shooting as much as you should be. Uh, information, I think you're playing pretty well from this standpoint. Yeah, aiming's overrated. Trying to think. I mean, I know you complained about where your team was, but they all just died in front of you. Uh, you were busy shooting everyone. Uh, was there any time that you were just... No, it seemed like you... Most of the time, you, you had the correct idea of what was going on. So I'm going to say this was fine. Skill usage was good. Plus. The kill feed didn't pay attention to it. Yeah, and that's... Um, kill feed. The best way to put it is just look at the right side of the kill feed. It'll be like blank, killed, blank. Uh, just notice if this is red or blue. That's what I focus on. I really don't even care about the picture, who died. Uh, hopefully my ears heard who died by their death animation sound. But most of the time, I don't care. Um... As you just get this general vagueness of in the top right corner of what's going on. Right? You don't have to just, like, stare at this. Right? You don't have to... Oh, check this out. I can zoom in, right? How do I zoom in? How come... How come I can't zoom in when I want to? Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. I just erased everything. But, yeah. Uh, just have a general glance in the top right. You don't have to focus straight on it. Uh, I think too many people like look up here and then they die, you know, on screen.
So lower sensitivity. Uh, don't worry about your skill usage. Skill usage was good. Position. Don't be in no man's land. I don't know what I was. Don't be in no man's land. Uh, your logistics was fine, but be wary of flanking. Flanking takes time. I'm not saying your flanking was improper. Just remember that flanking is risk reward. Uh, this you did good. So if I had to say what I want you to correct, one, I keep playing. This for fucking everyone. Keep playing. Don't get disheartened. Don't start giving up. Don't get angry. Keep playing. You have to keep playing to get better. As soon as you start hating Overwatch and stop playing is the second you stop getting better. So keep playing. Uh, with or without a friend. Whatever. Whatever you find comfortable. Whatever you have to do to enjoy the game. I would lower your sensitivity a little bit. See how your actually is. And this is if you're like focusing specifically on Tracer. Because Tracer... Um, like, even later on, you'll start understanding how to move around your reload animation. But right now, you don't even have to worry about that. Uh, that's, that's way up the road. Uh, yeah, work on your positioning. I think it takes time. Yeah, actually, uh, lower your sensitivity. And don't be in the middle of combat. That's honestly... Uh, it helped Zeno. I said his reviews online. It, it helped him immensely. I'll just say that. He did. He did really well. He he popped up. I think he popped up from gold to diamond after he just stopped being in the middle of combat as tracer. So yeah, give that a shot. And again, Zeno. It's one of my first reviews. I just remember his name because I haven't seen him in a bit. I wonder where the guy's at. Hope he's doing all right. But do you have any questions, Booty Mage? While I have you here. Here to find give Junkrat a tough time. For me, it's McCree and, uh, McCree and Hog. That's about it. Okay, here's a good one. How do I practice aim with Tracer? Bots don't move realistically enough. Um. One, play more. Keep playing. And two, I think training against bots is going to help you anyways. Um. Even if you pick a single spot on the screen and shoot at it while you're dodging around will help you immensely. Oh, Robo. That could be a good one. Junkrat pulling out a rabbit out of his hat. Magic Cow, please throw that in Discord. Uh, I don't review any whispers. There's a shooting range in CSGO. I would like to keep it strictly to Overwatch. You play 3v3 to practice. That works too. Um, so, what did I do back in the day? Yeah, I can tell you in Team Fortress 2, I would walk around the maps and I would just shoot exactly where I wanted to. While just moving around. Uh, in my Quake days, man, I just grinded out hours of that. That's what I played all the time as a kid. Um, I'm trying to think, did I play? Did I do any target practices in Quake? I just grinded the shit out of games. Holy crap, did I play that a lot. Um, and even in Overwatch, on the opening of Watchpoint Gibraltar, uh, Winston has a tire on the attacking spawn and i'll just run around and i'll shoot grenades into that tire like that's a way for me to practice aiming uh you can try to shoot for the center of the tire as tracer as you're moving around uh just and the thing is is don't worry if the targets move realistically or not 
you're at such a skill level where you just have to move and shoot at something stable. Uh, a lot of people, uh, I don't want to, I, I don't, I'm not trying to like yell at you, not yell at you, just like try to make you feel bad, but like you're nowhere near the skill level to worry about if the target is moving realistically or not. Uh, and this is probably true up to three to, f I'd probably say anything under Grandmaster. Uh, don't worry about if they're moving realistically or not. Um, just, if you can always hit a static position while you're moving constantly, you're in an amazing spot. You're, you're, you're in an amazing spot. As soon as, like, that starts happening, then you can move the movement. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. 100% accuracy while you're doing whatever you want to do is, is pretty amazing. And given the play you saw, I honestly belong in silver. Or is my busyness me back from when I... Where do I belong? No, like, everyone gets... Don't worry about your attitude, man. Everyone gets pissed. Like, I get pissed off. It just takes me a lot longer to get pissed off. <laughs> um, no, your attitude is fine. Like, I understand. You're doing poorly, and that's going to inflect, like, affect your attitude. Sometimes when I play for, poorly, like, you guys will... You guys, I think so, people that watch me enough pick up when i'm starting to get like tilted now the thing is when i get tilted it may be like after the 10th game of having throwers and i'm getting dominated and even then i'm just like ah man that sucks and like that'll be like the telltale sign that like i'm getting tilted uh but yeah you can play quick play but th here's the problem quick play you can't it's, quick play for me is useless. Uh, just throw your SR out the window. Don't worry about it. Just play competitive mode. Don't care about your SR. You'll get better in time. Your SR will go up in time. Uh, maybe that's something you need to focus on. Like, it's, or focus? Ha! Focus or don't focus on it. Uh, to focus, you have to unfocus, right? To focus, you have to unfocus. Uh, that's actually a pretty good Tai Chi diagram, too. Uh, yeah. Before you even learn how to unfocus, you have to learn how to focus really intently. But that's, oh, fuck, that's a different discussion. That's, that's, a, that's a long discussion. Uh, yeah. So just keep playing. If you want to grind out, like, Anna bots, like, I guess you can, or you can just play. Uh, that's the funniest thing I see about Anna bots and drills and whatnot. My genius is finally um, recognized. The other way to practice aiming is just to play the game. Uh, maybe that's why we didn't have accuracy trainers in Quake 2, is, like, you just played. Like, how do you get better? Well, you play more. And thank you... Cranal Rectosis, thank you so much for your subscription. Is it obvious that I only have 25 hours on Tracer other than aim? Uh, I mean, your, your skill usage and your... I'd say your decision-making... So let's talk about my apply triangle. Essentially with you, I would say all this is pretty solid. From here down. Outside of your positioning, get the fuck out of no man's land. But I've already grilled it into you. And now if all of this is correct, what happens is in time, this will happen. Uh, accuracy will come in time. Now everyone's in a rush to get their SR as high as possible because I don't know, apparently you get like a huge dick if your SR is really high. But I can inform you, at 4,300, my dick has not changed at all. All right? Like, fuck, I wish it was true, guys. Like, I wish the higher SR, like, I just got giant balls and whatnot. But I don't. Like, it, does, it doesn't happen. It doesn't do anything. Higher SR is just a fucking number. No, nothing happens up, up top. Uh, so, as long as your decision-making is good... And your positioning as well, like as you play more and more and more, it your accuracy will come in time. And it sucks for me to say this that you really can't like you can speed it up by doing drills and whatnot and playing more and more and more, but because I have twenty years on most people, like I don't worry about this at all. In fact, I have never once in Overwatch like really worry about my accuracy. Like I'll start I've never trained it i've never like grinded it like i'll sit and spawn while i'm waiting for my team to choose and i'll shoot at the the tire 
But I haven't done what I did in TF2 where I just like grinded Dust Bowl for four hours of finding places to like shoot and do it there. Um, yeah, like I've never done that. I've just played the game. Um, so I stopped worrying about SR. Stop worrying about becoming amazing in one month. Uh... Think of this, think of first-person shooters as a skill. It's a life skill. I know it's not a very useful skill. If I said, hey, piano, learn that in one month. Oh, also, you need to be a grandmaster in the piano in one month. Everyone would laugh at you. You'd be like, you, you can't do that. No one can progress that fast. Even if you did, it wouldn't be a good progression. Like, you couldn't uphold, like, keep it up going. You would, you'd kill yourself. It wouldn't even be nice. You wouldn't even have any unique flavor to it. You wouldn't have your own, like characterization of the music it wouldn't happen and if i said to do that in two months they'd still laugh at you they'd say the same thing i'd say one year they'd laugh at you again two years three years they'd still laugh at you uh people in overwatch think man you can become really good at video games in fucking no time the truth is it's going to take like three to five years to get really good and this is coming from zero skill Obviously, if you have other FPS of experience, you can pick it up faster, but, like, three to five years, I would say you get good at anything in life. Uh, that's when you get, that's, this is when you become a beginner, uh, three to five years of daily practice. This is beginner. Um, yeah. And even then, I don't see it getting much lower. Uh, if you played first-person shooters all the time, yeah, it would be six months, because all your fundamentals are in place you just have to learn you just have to understand like this is in place your actions in place uh positioning is like halfway in place once you start learning the game your logistics information layer this is probably in place uh you just have to learn the skills and yada yada and you can transfer from one game to another pretty quickly uh once you have the basics done but coming from nothing it's gonna take a long fucking time um and anyone to tell you different it is just lying they're, they're just lying to you uh yeah just give it time and and all is coming but the this the stuff that doesn't come with time or it does come with time but the stuff that you can really speed up like the educational part basically here down uh you're good on you're good here like your logistics it needs a little bit of work but that comes with time uh for like 1500 you're doing quite well and your position like i almost want to say your position is an information issue because you just don't know that you're doing you're staying in no man's land, right? You just don't know it. Um, yeah, you just... Now that you know it, you kind of know you're... Alright, I'll stay out of there. I'll, I'll try to do that. I'll stay on the edges. I'll try to be effective from the edges of uh, the main zone of combat. And you donated 200. So YouTube knows. I love you. You threw this video out. <laughs> All right, yeah, good. Yeah, sometimes the YouTube comments are like, oh, you're mean. You don't know what you're talking about. Well, fuck you, YouTube comments. Right there. I'm saying it right now. All the comments right here suck. Eat it. Although someone's going to be like, oh, Crow's the greatest. And I'll be like, oh, fuck. I said I suck. Uh, oh, well. So there are good fundamental players in low SR. Does that mean there are sucky players that have good luck on teammates that are in high SR? Uh, it's a tough question, yes and no. Uh, it becomes more difficult to trick people that are good. It's kind of like a, a job interview. Uh, if your interviewer, the more skilled your interviewer is at what you're doing, the less you can trick them. So the problem is, is like, everyone thinks like 3K is really good. 3K is kind of crap. Uh, 3K SR. You can trick these people quite easily. Now you try to pull that same shit on, uh, maybe Grandmaster. I don't know, like forty one hundred. I just I hate throwing up numbers. But let's say four forty one hundred. Yeah, they're gonna call you on your shit, right? So they, you can only progress so far by being trashy. And with that, I will move on to the next one. Unless, unless Booty, you got, you got some more questions, but...
This one's going for pretty far. Pretty far. At you. I know you're at, you're, th you're at 3k and you think you're a decent support. Nope, you're out of questions. Cool. We're going to next. Pow. 